Hello and welcome to the Box Platform channel. Today I'm going to walk you through on how to get started with the Box API using Postman in just about five minutes. The Box API is a vast collection of 65 endpoints exposing most of the Box Platform functionalities. And this collection is available in Postman for you to use. Let's get started. Let's go in here to the quick starts and open this use Postman to make API calls. And it takes you to our tooling page. Now, I could just go into the install Postman collection and click the big orange button and allows me to uh, fork the collection into my workspace. However, I want to show you something slightly different. Let's go here to the quick start and we have a series of steps, install Postman, now, I already have Postman installed, and this will all work either if you're using the Postman web version or the desktop application. So let's continue and say, yes, I have installed Postman. And now it brings you to a dialogue to say, hey, do you want to create a new box application or you want to use an existing box app? I'm going to select existing box app. And now I need to go into my developer console. Let's go to, the, to my developer console. Here we go. And I've got a series of applications. I'm going, you need to use uh, OAuth 2 application. So let's select this one. And we are going to copy the client ID and the client secret. So let me copy the client ID and paste it over here. So make sure that it is an OAuth 2 um, application and you have the proper redirect URIs. If you're using developer.com, use this one. If you're accessing through box.dev, use this one. So let me get to the client secret. There we go. And paste it over here. And now I'm going to continue the user saying I have configured box and I need to authenticate against this OAuth application. So let me click login. It will prompt me to give access to this application to my box user account. So I'm gonna say, grant access to box and continue the wizard. The next step is again, the big orange button saying running Postman. Let's do that. And it's asking me to fork the collection. So let me fork the collection. It will open uh, Postman web and it is asking for what workspace would I like to do this? So I'm just gonna say box API fork and simply fork the, coll the collection. This will take a few seconds to, to complete. And there you have it, the collection is now um, on my workspace. And I also can immediately start doing some requests. So let's navigate here into folders. I want to list items in folders. Now I do need a few variables, um, namely the access token, but because I pre-authenticated the application using that wizard, I can now go in here, select the box uh, environment variables and can immediately send the request. And there you have it. I should also remember to finish the wizard. So let me just go here and say I have forked the collection and now I'm going to clear the credentials from the browser cache. Now, let me show you the exact same thing on the Postman desktop application. So let me open Postman. Here we are. And I have here the Box Platform API with all its requests. By the way, let me show you what version of Postman am I using. So I'm using version 10.1. So let's do the same thing. Let's query the items on my root folder. Here we go, folders list items in folders. I want to show the root folder. So it's zero. And obviously I am going to select the environment variables, send a request. And there we go. We can list the, um, we can list the contents um, and start using the API. The reason I was using that wizard inside developer.box.com is precisely to get the environment variables that I need to um, use the box API. Now, even if I go here to, let's say, authorization, and I refresh my access token, 
right, we can see that the access token is this and the refresh token is, is this. And then I am going to send and it also updates the access token and the refresh token on the environment variables. Whether you are exploring what's possible with the API or working with a specific endpoint, the Box API Postman collection is something useful to keep in your tool belt. For more information, check out the links down below and leave us a comment. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you all next time. Cheers, everyone.